I'm on 300 North. I can see the 501 trail down there. That is now paved. It was not paved in 2017. I'm traveling the route that BG took. I'm about to walk past the Who's Your Harvest Store building. In the front, you can see the section where they work on the silos. And in the back, you can see the storage units. They have cameras on the building, which picked up vehicles, but I don't believe they picked up the, per, the uh, him walking as they, the cameras were not that sensitive. I did view the photos in the photo packets that they handed out to the jury of the black Ford Focus SE that was on camera and I was very surprised as were other people in attendance in the courtroom at just how clear that you could make out that it was a black car. It, I know that people had said about it being 480p. Um, I couldn't see it close enough but I was quite surprised to see the grid of the road and the entrance to the Who's Your Harvester on those photos with the black car. The, the plate was not able to be viewed of course, the VIN number was not able to be viewed, which was testified about, but you could see the rims. They were very distinctive. They had big gaping holes, and we later seen those rims again on the car in Richard Allen's uh, garage, his Ford Focus SE 2016. Detective Vito had... Uh, been documenting with other detectives uh, 28 photos from the October 13th search and the rims definitely look like a match to me so we walk along this would have been his route coming out and now I'm going to show you the not the, the nine seconds of video that are pertinent for, uh, it was around 1, 127 p.m. on the 13th. We have a camera on the west side of the building, probably one of the ones back there. It was testified about on the stand by law enforcement, I believe it was Mullins. That camera had an angle that they showed on the map, nine seconds, that reach hit that first house, sorry. The first house is right here. They have nine seconds of video of that black Ford Focus whenever it come into view. Traveling from the east on 300 north, traveling west. That was not a typical route that Alan would take, although he said he would take it sometimes. Typically he came from town, which would be the other direction. Mullins testified that on the night of the 14th at around six, between six and 7 p.m., he was notified, I think it was Tom Mears, I have to check my notes. He had a call about the Who's Your Harvester video footage. He came, there was eight hours of video footage. He took his phone and took pictures of vehicles to immediately start to try to determine if they could locate them in some manner. That was on the 14th. They had the video from the Har Who's Your Harvest Store that night, February 14th, 2017, the date that Liberty German and Abigail Williams were found. While they didn't play the video, they handed out to the jurors for their packets the images of the vehicle, nine seconds, traveling west on 300 north towards the CPS building.